Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this tech guide video, I'm going to take a look at the Nesot Menagerie Paladin after the Paladin nerfs. So Paladin has been nerfed a couple of times and finally now Paladin is no longer one of the most played classes, but I actually had great time with this deck and a lot of success. Basic fundamentals, they're all still the same. Nesot, card of the deep, resurrecting friendly minions of each minion type, and Paladin has some sweet minions, with Cryosaur Griffin being an excellent mech, Hammer of the Naru giving some excellent elementals, and one of my favorites in the current meta, Death's Head Cultist. Most Paladin Nesot decks don't run any quill bores, but there is a quill bore that's an early game minion, a defensive taunt minion, and a minion that heals you, and all of those like tick the box for what Nesot Paladin really lacks in this current meta, and adding Death's Head Cultist to my deck, it just had stunning results. You may notice that I have cut first day of school altogether from this deck, but I'm also not running any 1-1s with Divine Shield and Taunt, like, those minions are so inconsequential, I want good stuff. My secrets, Death's Head Cultist, Murger, they will get me through the early game and into these power turns that Nesot Paladin still has. I'm also running Moonfang as an additional beast in addition to Galloping Saviors, because Galloping Saviors are not always procced, and Moonfang, even though it doesn't have Taunt, it is very difficult to remove, so it's there for several value trades if needed. As for the mulligans with this deck, the most important card in your mulligan is the Sword of the Fallen, just a phenomenal card. Then Knight of Anointment, another great card to keep, and beyond that, Murger Murger Gull, the Red Scale Dragon Tamer, and Hand of a Doll, if you have some early game minions already that you can then play it on. Paladin may have been nerfed, but Nesot Paladin, properly teched for the current meta, is still a force to be reckoned with. Now, let's go take a look at Nesot Paladin in action. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Well, it's Hold of Fire, it is my middle name, but... Let's see... Alright, at least we got the Cultist. Hunt to get two cards. So I'm kind of expecting Wolfettingers or something. I just want to answer that one immediately. Before it gets buffed or something. Alright, getting an Omayog out there, that's cool. A face more. I want the card draw, right? We'll fight back these I want the card draw. Burn. Do we want another secret? I'm probably getting Galloping Savior. Will this hunt to play three cards? Burn. They might. Well, let's grab the Galloping Savior. Wouldn't not have minded a Reckoning either here against that Felmo. So we'll have to kill the man quick. Advance. And develop another minion. Alright, but where is this one going? That's that's fine, I suppose. Well might could turn into a shadow step. Spread prayer, okay. They can't play another card though. If they play another card, then I get the minion. They don't play another card. Splendid. Murger kills that one now. What if they have the Rhino? I think we can rock a Moonfang here. Have fun killing that one. Oh no, Mancrick Swipe. That Mancrick Barak Codovane is the best possible opener this hunter deck can have. Is it now strong enough to defeat me? We are about to find out. I would need something to corrupt the Carousel Griffins. The Blight Lord of Rhinos is really high at the moment. Not picking up the stuff I need. Is it a death set called this turn? What could this knight give me? A secret? 
That thins the deck, of course. I mean, it draws a holy spell, so it's conviction. Conviction or reckoning. Or hand of a doll. That's actually not bad. Let's do it. Alright, I get to kill that one. I was hoping for Reckoning, to be honest, but... Alright, Rhino will kill... 4-1, sure. As expected. Now well, that's a Reckoning. This kills the Rhino. Does this kill the Kodo Bane? I guess so. I think I have chosen a defensive line here. And two dead sets called the Standard Reckoning. So that we can catch the next Rhino. I just need to be able to corrupt, corrupt the Carousel Griffins. Well, if they play three cards, then I get the Galloping Savior. So, do they have enough? Maybe. And if I can't kill. Okay, don't roll Kolek. Didn't roll Kolek. That was good. But they're going to lose the... They're going to lose the backrunner. So I'm just fine, am I not? I'm going to draw a holy spell again. That hand of a doll is going on tail and... Feel his icy touch. I lose the moon from but it's okay. This is not what we stood for! And it's tail and the hand of a doll on that. Job's done. Then Hammer of the Naru, Carousel Griffin, Nesoth. Well, I might also pick up Alex Strauss from that, of course. I think we have run a, a hunter who had Mancrit Barak Kodobane opener. May just be out of resources now. I think that's what this looks like. Now, I don't need three minions for the conviction. Conviction here is acceptable. Okay, Hunter. That was a that was against Mancrick and Barak. That's the dream. Priest is gonna be hard. So many copies of Mutanus and blah 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 this and that and boom. But let's see. We have some threats in the deck. Maybe they will be good enough. Priest still has the coin. I want to play the Dragon Tamer first. I don't want them to go in the old my other way. If I can avoid that. I'm not sure if it's avoidable, but... We'll see. Can Tzu make a comeback? Tzu is looking really bad. So I don't know. Galloping Saber, not the greatest. If they want to Hysteria, let them Hysteria. 
They mightn't even dare, because it could be an Oh My Yog. So now they know it wasn't an Oh My Yog. And they still have the coin to throw into the real Oh My Yog when it comes. And of Adal on this is just an invitation to use Hysteria. But they will have to spend their coin too, right? I think it's okay. We're just going for it. Next time we go with the hammer. I have to throw the coin into the Omayog first. So we get rid of their coin. Do they even want to Hysteria now? Maybe not. I play Hammer, they can still Hysteria next turn. I'm a little surprised that they chose to play the Hysteria now. Just a little bit. Hammer time. I could of course do Griffin and Groom to kill that and still go face as well. If I were to combine that with the Conviction, I could push 12 to the face. They would be at 28 and they would go down to 16. And then I still have Murgle or Prime for next turn. Doesn't sound too bad. That damage in, and we push this damage in. And Priest needs another answer now, and then they will need another answer for the Murgurgle. So we're trying to pressure them so that they don't have time to play that mutinous and that sort of stuff. They don't take the Soul Mirror, which is nice. They have no discounts. So then you play the Murgle for. So what is the priest going to do then? Now it's a bunch of Divine Shielded minions. They just spent their Soul Mirror. They have spent their Condemn. Can they survive these? It's possible that they may. Let's see. They're definitely working on it. Just trying to put so much pressure, so many threats, that Priest doesn't have time to do things that they would really want to do. They have 7 mana though, and a lot of cards. And it's not even lethal, it's just 14. I think I need to kill the Cirella. I think I may need to, yes. I could try to find my Nessoth with Talon. Hmm. Talon doesn't put on a lot of pressure. Six to the face is acceptable. I'm afraid to use the Cirella. Try to carry Sword Griffin. Secrets to hero power. Six to the face. What if they have their Nessoth now? They will also get a Carousel Griffon thanks to the Soul Mirror. So if they have their Nessoth here, that is that is a big deal. Big deal. It might even win them the game still. Okay, they might have bigger up Cirella. So Light Shower Elemental Cirella. Venomous Scorpid. But then oh, there's also all the minions from Soul Mirror that died. So it's not quite that reliable. Do they have Apotheosis for that one? They do. That's crazy. Randomly generated Apotheosis too. But I have a Reckoning. 
frenzy effect is not going off. That frenzy effect is not going off. Pow. No frenzy for you. You have better. Ba -dow. We can try with this. My least favorite wild deck. I don't know wild well enough to to really know. Probably have to coin the murder and then play the sword on to you. Because that gives me the potential to deal like three damage to this failing paper. First two with this and then one with the sword. That's at least possible. A too many shamans shouldn't be able to do too many things here. Oh, you built this for me? Oh, you built this for me? Whoa. That's tough. Burn. Don't need my sword. So I have to kill that. Now there's an Oma Yog. Which may or may not help me. They have one discount on their elemental. So average stormer is what I'm afraid of. There can be others. Okay, so this is the more mid-range version. They have heck they have hex effects in that deck, by the way. How funny is that? Not the oh my yoke, where do I hit? I must have to kill no matter what gets buffed. Not going to be able to kill them. I think I hit into the one too. I won't be able to kill an elemental, but there's a chance that the buff lands on the two tree, and then it will have tree attack, and then it dies to the reckoning. And maybe that helped me somehow. Maybe. They draw another Wakanol Hammer. Because if they run Wakanol Hammers, they're not running Doom Hammers, then it's just purely those. They're not playing three cards per turn. No, it's Kasagos time. Greater Golems with Rush. And I bloom. I was hoping for a copy, well but done. this might get me at least some kind of effect on the board. Except this, expecting the Wackanol Hammer and something that costs two. No more elemental discounts, so they could play like the Lily Worker, I guess. That wasn't very powerful, though. It was everything I hoped would happen, pretty much. They might still have fire elementals and stuff, of course. And the hexing minion. Fire elemental kills this with the battle cry effect. It still has to be this one. I can't leave the Arid Stormer up. I have to get rid of it. I need to corrupt that. They run Wackanol Hammer and Doom Hammer in the same deck? Really? Well, that was unexpected. That was truly unexpected. Now they don't have the hex effect active. So I can do the dead set cultist now. Saber up. I don't have a Doom Hammer. I need this corrupted. They might not have Lily Bad Lurkers in that deck then. <laughs> no worries, Spirit. I was wondering a little bit about what you're saying there. I mean, I understood what you're saying, of course. I understand Swedish. 
but I didn't get fully get why. The control cards are cheaper. I have to corrupt the carousel griffin now. I need to play this next turn and Nessel the 9. I hope I'm living long enough. There's a decent chance for me to live long enough, right? There's a decent chance. Ooh, now the chance got so much better. Now I'm actually able to clear this board. I can kill all of those. I'm at 13 and I'm behind an 8-8 taunt. But they have the Lilybird Lurker after all. Okay. So I won't get that from Azoth. But I will get plenty of other stuff. Yikes! I I have seen some versions with Doom Harrow that, that the curved hopper is the Lily Bad Lurker, but thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.